Think of this as if he's grabbing and he's going to strike with the other hand. Before he can bring up his hand, I'm going to back him up. Okay, so he reaches out and grabs, and I react this way. Stepping back, my elbow is facing towards him, my front foot's facing towards him, and I'm still facing towards him. I grip his, his gripping hand, step back with the other foot, and two fingers into the crook of the elbow, pulling it towards me. I keep his hand locked into this groove right here in front of my shoulder. I bring him in and roll the shoulder down, causing the okay to tap. Again, from here, strike, step back, strike, step back, grip, roll it around, pull it in, and roll the shoulder down. Application for this would be, he throws a roundhouse, I step, rotating and blending with him, throwing up a block, reaching across with the opposite hand, step back, roll the hand over the top, and crank. Again. Let's do it from here. Step and block. Notice my body is right along with his. We could just keep going around in a circle. Reach over the top. Bring it to that crook in my shoulder. This hand comes around, pulling in. This, again, is a cut. It's a sword cut right through his center. Application B would be uh, from a straight. From a Straight punch, I want you to actually use a fist to the face. From here, I step this way, straight out to the side. Okay, this way, if this other hand comes in, I'm ready for it. Here, reach across, pull it in, right to that crook in the, in the shoulder. This hand comes around, stepping back. This is a double feature with the stepping back. It creates him to fall, and you also have a strike with the knee right into the face, if need be. Once again from here. Straight punch right to the face. Here. 